Chapter on the performance of Umrah after performing Hajj without having a hadith. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. We set out with Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, shortly before the appearance of the new moon of Dhil Hijjah. And he said, Whoever wants to assume ihram for Umrah may do so, and whoever wants to assume ihram for Hajj may do so. Had not I brought the hadith with me, I would have assumed ihram for Umrah. Some of the people assumed ihram for Umrah, while others for Hajj. I was amongst those who had assumed ihram for Umrah. I got my menses before entering Mecca and was menstruating till the day of Arafat. I complained to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, about it. He said, Abandon your Umrah, undo and comb your hair, and assume ihram for Hajj. So I did that accordingly. When it was the night of Hasba, day of departure from Mina, the Prophet, peace be upon him, sent Abdurrahman with me to at -Tan'im. The sub-narrator adds, He, Abdurrahman, let her ride behind him and she assumed ihram for Umrah in lieu of the abandoned one. Aisha completed her hajj and Umrah and no hadith, sadaqah, charity, or fasting was obligatory for her.